There is an age-long argument that never really gets to be settled. The West Coast or the East Coast, which one's better? Today we're going to be diving deep into this topic. And we hope that you'd agree with us by the time we get to the end of this video. But before we go on, comment down below, which do you think is better and why? Let's get right into it. Let's start with climate. The Atlantic and Pacific Oceans deliver vastly different climates to the coasts. Long cold winters in New York are offset by scorching summers. The majority of the West Coast does not really get to experience all four seasons and is subjected to the brunt of the two major seasons. People on the East Coast, on the other hand, will be able to enjoy all four seasons, but it comes with some extreme weather, like hurricanes too. Even in the hottest parts of the country, the temperature will drop and the leaves will turn orange. Now, the southern half of California is sunny and pleasant all year, while the northern part is cooler and foggy. Winter in the Pacific Northwest, essentially anything north of San Francisco, is characterized by rain and mist, with a rare blizzard. So for this, we have to give the win to the East Coast for its four seasons. West 0, East 1. Now let's look at sports. With hundreds of sports teams across the country, it may be hard to pick and choose the winners. The West Coast is home to great teams like the Golden State Warriors, LA Lakers, Seattle Seahawks, LA Rams, San Francisco 49ers, Anaheim Ducks, LA Kings, LA Galaxy, San Francisco Giants, Seattle Mariners and LA Dodgers. The East Coast can claim teams such as the Boston Celtics, New York Knicks, Miami Heat, Atlanta Falcons, New England Patriots, Pittsburgh Steelers, New York Rangers, Carolina Panthers, Inter Miami, New York Red Bulls, Boston Red Sox, New York Yankees and New York Mets. With all championships games in mind, winning or not, the East Coast wins sports by a landslide. West 0, East 2. Next, let's look at beaches. The west coast of the United States is home to some of the country's best beaches. There are several beaches in California alone that provide excellent conditions for surfing, diving and relaxing. Hawaii also has beautiful beaches and the mountains, forests and sunny weather throughout the year makes it possible to enjoy these beaches at any time of the year. The east coast is home to many beautiful beaches too and has the benefit of warm Atlantic waters. But those warmer waters can't beat the clear winner, the west coast. West 1, East 2 Attractions and National Parks One of the reasons the West attracts tourists from all over the world in addition to those from the United States is the quantity of attractions there. From breathtaking volcanoes in Hawaii to the lush woodlands of Sequoia and the magical atmosphere of Death Valley and Joshua Tree, the West Coast has all one needs to experience nature to the fullest. There are a lot of forests and mountains on the West Coast, which offer every kind of adventure a person could want. More well-known American landmarks, such as the Golden Gate Bridge, Hollywood and the Space Needle are also located on the West Coast. There is also Yosemite National Park. It is one of America's most beloved national parks. The park is well known for its striking granite cliffs, enormous sequoias, stunning lakes and enthralling waterfalls. All of this combines to make it a heaven for travelers looking for both landscape and remarkable adventures. Be sure to check out our Yosemite video. The East poses a great argument for one big reason – Disney World. Each park can be explored over the course of three or four days. The Magic Kingdom, Epcot and the main Disney park are all available. The East also has a collection of national parks along the Appalachians, but are hard to compare to West Coast parks. However, Disneyland, often known as the happiest place on Earth, is located on the West Coast. The park has incredible attractions, themes and fantasies that will make visitors feel as they are on the happiest place on Earth. This round goes to the West because they have more variety. West 2, East 2. Population diversity. The farther south you go on the East Coast, the more diverse the population becomes. That being said, the farther north you go, the less diverse it is. The West Coast is fairly consistent no matter where you go. Big cities are obviously more diverse and smaller towns less so. This one is a close call, but we would fare to say that the West Coast wins in diversity. West 3, East 2. Next, let's look at culture. 
the cultures in the East and West Coasts are significantly different from one another. While the East Coast is much busier and focused on business, the West Coast offers a more laid-back atmosphere. The East Coast will undoubtedly help you in getting things done, despite the fact that this may sound like a terrible thing. In the larger cities, including, but not limited to, New York City and Atlanta, you will undoubtedly encounter this. The West Coast has a more chilled and relaxed way of life, which is uncommon in many other areas of the country, especially on the East Coast. In cities like New York City, getting to work or just moving across the city requires squeezing through unending crowds every day. People on the West Coast live more laid-back lives, which ultimately makes life there less stressful and more enjoyable. There are those who would prefer the busy life to the laid-back lifestyle, and there are those who would rather have it the other way around. And for that reason, this part will be a tie. West 4, East 3 Architecture There is virtually little crossover between the architecture on either side of the nation. Older home types in the East, such as Colonial or Victorian, will typically be made of brick, whereas similar vintage residences in the West, such as San Francisco painted ladies, will be stucco or wood, as brick used to be notoriously expensive to ship across the country by rail in the past. As opposed to Western homes that emphasize above-ground living, such as craftsmen bungalows, Spanish colonials and flat-roofed contemporary structures, Eastern homes also feature traditional floor plans and basements to allow house footings to sit below the frost level. This round is also down to individuals to decide and therefore a tie, as some prefer vintage and classic styles, while others prefer more modern houses and structures. West 5, East 4 If you enjoy this video, it would be super helpful for the channel if you'd support us via the super thanks button. Thank you! Finally we have cost of living. The west coast has a higher cost of living than the east, with the exception of New York and the Bay Area even gives New York City a run for its money. On the West Coast, taxes, gasoline, housing and, in many cases, college tuition are all more expensive. So the East Coast wins this round. That brings the final score to West 5, East 5. But at the end of the day, it is up to you where you prefer. So what do you think? Which of the coasts are you standing with? Let us know down in the comments section. Also, watch this video featuring the top 15 states to visit in the US.